Alrighty, and here we are with the second round of the create your best sport car sports car that you can do and I suffered with the VMNG and that's about what we're gonna do. So I'm trying to choose a circuit because it's actually kind of deceptive. Um, some of the circuits are way too short what, for what they are. Uh, but based on these things, this is a drift circuit, this is the short race circuit. I'm tempted to go by this one because this has a few corner heavy sections as you can see here but also has a few higher top end sections. And these one are label long which i don't really want to do a long one because as you can see i'm not that uh, consistent so how about we try the short race circuit and of course all the cores uh, are exported even the one that has been well imported rather into bmng and even the ones that we actually thought that was not even a sports car challenge car but actually was it's just the creator was taking a joke at us anyway um we're gonna start up the test and just a quick rule or setup uh, since the last time that I've changed, I no longer do three laps with each car and then using the best lap to compare it to the others. I actually need to do at least one lap with the car that where I don't spin out or um, or crash into anything to actually get that lap to count. If it's uh, before the three laps that has passed, then I'll use uh, then I do more laps. But if it wasn't uh, after the three laps has passed or before that, um, I'm gonna use that first pretty much decent lap that I can accept as a proper clean lap. So, with that in mind, let's see what these cars can do, shall we? I think whoever has driven uh, BeamNG cars before me uh, can atone or attest uh, to my statement that uh, you have to be really, really, and I mean really careful with your cars. I don't think that was a crash, and that was just a bare touch. It usually like displays it on my screen if I crash my car. Um, I think so, at least. So we're still going, and this car is very understeery and doesn't like braking. I still can't compare it to other cars because this is the first in a challenge. But based on just my general experiences with cars, I don't think even in real life you need to have your cars have these these bad brakes. So I think something is going wrong there, BMG. I think this car is is being uh, handled wrong by your engine. Even though there was an update recently that I had to download, um, it didn't seem to make the cars any better in terms of driving experience compared to what I remember. I mean, of course it's better than the muscle cars were, but you know, this, these are sports cars, so that should be expected. Also break here because I usually miss this checkpoint. And I almost miss it again. Okay, cool, we're still going. Remember that there is a tight turn that's coming up real soon and again. I think here, yes. Uh, so I need to break early, uh, just so that I can actually take this corner without crashing into the wall. And let's see, uh, this lap time is gonna be a 1.25, almost 26, with this first uh, contestant card. Alright, we are here with the Echo, which is our second car, so let's see how this performs on the track. Okay, just break early. Yeah, this one's a bit better brakes than the previous car. Um, I could actually afford myself a bit more leeway there. I like the sound of it though, it's kind of menacing. It fits in a Jojo meme. It actually kind of corners better as well. Uh, it feels more stable, more grippy. It still is under C, but I think that's probably just BMNG being BMNG, so. You know, I'm not complaining about the experience so far. I just noticed how the uh, the rear rear window is kind of meshed together with the side windows. That's kind of nice. I didn't actually notice that in the um, the actual showcase. I like the, this car. I like this car. I remember that the rear lights, especially uh, the front, is also nice. But the rear is what caught my attention the most. Okay, and here we go. Uh, keep in mind to break here early. Otherwise, you might miss this checkpoint. The suspension is a bit worse, but it's uh, for this track it doesn't matter much. And let's see. Break early again. Oh, got a suspension. And let's go. And oh wow, this is actually much slower than the previous car. In like six seconds. I mean, looks like even though it was better in terms of spraking and uh, cornering, it didn't actually outperform the other one in terms of uh, just roll straight line speed. 
Oh well, it's still a nice car to drive, so thank you for the submission. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so this car. This car is loud, is what I can tell you already. Um, also, it does not like turning as much as the previous two did. Uh, this is much less stable around uh, the corners, but at least it can break. Um, yeah, you can see it's sliding. Uh, I don't actually know what causes that. I'm assuming it's something to do with the um, wheel setup and suspension. Um, at least that's what it feels like. So I probably cannot utilize its power as much as the other twos, given that I need to be much more careful with it. Oh god. Yeah, 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 okay. Break, 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 break. It is very powerful sounding though, so if you want a car that is uh, sort of Enzo almost uh, look-alike, but still being just much more powerful, then I guess you don't need to look any further. Uh, take this corner slow. Keep the grip going, there we go. I guess some downforce could have been uh, utilized for this car, um, so that it can actually get, get to higher speeds more safely. And also take this corner properly, there we go. It was probably not, not the proper way because I was just too wheeling there, but it will, we will take that, it, it works. Slow down at this corner. There we go, oh, don't spin out, don't spin out, don't spin out, okay, there we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And this is the new first place. Finally I could get a clean up with it, nice. So this be the previous first, which was the first car in the list by 3 seconds, so yeah. That's the current bar right now, let's see what the next one can do. Alrighty, next car. This is one of those cars again that has this uh, sort of weird pushing effect when even if you go kind of straight, it looks or feels like that the uh, the wheel actually tries to go to the sides because it just doesn't fit into the chassis, uh, which is kind of weird. Also, it doesn't have good brakes either, but uh, it might be able to salvage some good lap times because it still is feel feels very powerful uh, in, in the straights at least. If I can keep it going without crashing in the corners, I think this might have a chance of going get the new best. We'll see how it goes though. Again, it doesn't have good brakes though, so I need to actually be much more careful with it with the previous cars. Uh, it's kind of combining the the kind of bad turning from the previous car and that of the bad brakes of the first car in the list. So it's not a good setup, but it is probably the strongest in terms of engine power and whatnot. Uh, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah, again, try to, tries to spin out when it shouldn't. Um, break. To take this corner properly. There we go. That was probably the best, uh, <laughs> best uh, of my attempts of trying to take the corner so far, which it says a lot. You know, I'm not a good driver in BMG. I think I tried recently in GT online, uh, but not in BMG. All right, let's go. I don't think it will get the new first place. Uh, it's actually gonna be second. Yeah, it's, it's actually second place, but still not a bad lap time. Um, so yeah. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, wow, this, this car is, is the embodiment of weirdness. I, I'm not doing anything and it tries to spin me out just because it's kind of trying to switch up to higher gears or something. I, I really am not sure how or what causes this, but this is definitely not something that's supposed to happen. Um, I mean, if the owner tested the cars, then he should have known this, but apparently this is something that's just gonna have to be something that we have to deal with. So yeah, I, this is definitely not going to be winning this, so I'm just going to try and get a clean lap with it. Um, it, it literally doesn't want to go straight, like even if I don't press any um, direction buttons whatsoever, it still just tries to go to whatever side he decides to go to. Um, it feels almost like a, like an unintentional drift car or something. I guess when I'm off throttle, then that's when it kind of calms down and tries to actually stick to the road, but other than that, it really doesn't like accelerating. Um, Bricks are right, I guess. Turning is possible, but again, it turns on its own as well, so um, it's not really a good thing for it. Um, it sounds like one of those uh, those uh, cars that you hear on old movies where the recording quality wasn't the best. Um, it's kind of like that. Um, so yeah, this is this is a weird car overall. Um, I mean, it looks nice at least, but you know. I don't think this, even if, if I could pull up a proper lap with it by some miracle, it would do anything against the others because of just how weird its handling is. 
Don't break me on the on, on, don't break on me on the last turn, please. Oh god, I, I can't go straight with it. Oh, Jesus. And 144, yeah, that's I think the probably one of the worst laps so far. Well, sorry about that uh, trident, but this is not your day. Anyway, let's move to the next one. I have to say that this is probably one of my, uh, or the favorite sounding car so far that I've seen in this competition. Uh, which, I mean, there's only like, what, five or six cars so far, but still. This is a really nice sound. I never heard anything like this on BMG or uh, more automation. Uh, the car is all feeling alright so far. Um, I did a few test laps already, but um, I kind of messed up because I was trying to push it a bit more than it probably should have allowed me to. Um, but again, uh, it's definitely uh, one of the easiest ones to drive so far. So yeah, congrats on setting up the handling for this. And yeah, this was one of the corners that I usually spun out on. And other than that, not really much to comment on. Uh, it's actually um, a nice little pleasant experience. Bit of a throw away from all the others. Um, I, I guess like, not all the cars were that bad, it's just this one it still feels the best so far. Um, again, just just the brakes being a bit weak, but that's pretty much it. Um, so we'll we'll take that. We'll we'll go with that. That was a proper way of taking a corner, and no one can can uh, no one can prove it otherwise. <laughs> and there we go. Is this gonna get? The, this might have a chance at the new best. Actually, probably no. That was well, actually wait. Uh, is that the new best? I don't actually remember. Anyway, we'll see at the end. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this car, this is actually surprisingly even better than the last one in terms of driving experience. Uh, it still is kind of bad on the brakes, but I think that's just, uh, at this point, I'm just gonna count that or write it down as BeamNG being BeamNG. Um, the sound is a bit muffled, but it doesn't mean that's bad, it's just kind of uh, weird that uh, how all the other cars were like so loud and this is just kind of tame in its own way. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's very easy to take it around corners, as you can see, um, if I don't speed it out, that is. Um, it's understeer, yes, but it also has a lot of grip and it doesn't want to kill me at every corner, which is nice uh, change of pace. Um, so yeah, this is probably one of the, I don't know, probably most realistic handling cars so far. And yeah, not much else to say to be fair about from that whenever I try to break, uh, the, the, the plentiful uh, brake lights are actually so brighting that, or bright that uh, I just get blinded by them. <laughs> Could probably serve as a party boost or something, uh, party uh, accessory. Just uh, stand this car outside the, your window uh, with its back towards the window, and then it's just gonna, gonna provide all of the special lighting that you need for a party. And is this gonna be? No, that's not gonna be the new best because it's kind of slower in terms of uh, the cornering, but it's still a pretty good lap time. Um, it made up everything in the. So it made up all the kind of top speed or, or power lacking in terms of uh, cornering, which is nice. Alright, let's move on to the next one. And this is the aforementioned not so sporty sports car. It basically looks like a big ass Cadillac and it does actually handle like one. Uh, it, you need to like brake really early and it turns like a boat. Um, yeah, it's, it's not gonna break any... Um, left time records I feel like, but I'm gonna still try and take it around the corner at least once properly, even though I kind of failed at that multiple times at this point. Um, I mean, I guess it, again, doesn't try to steer out on its own, I guess, but it doesn't want to steer anyhow, so <laughs> that kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, yeah, look, look at the tight, uh, the, the turning radius of this car. It's nothing to write home about, let's just say that. I should probably just uh, drift around the corners with the handbrake if I could. But probably handbrake doesn't work the same way in this game as it works in like Need for Speeds and GTA, so I'm gonna not attempt that uh, currently. Uh, apart from that, not much else to say. I mean, this is kind of a meme car in a sense, but again, the, the creator adhered to the rules and they, they actually are, um, you know, within the regulations, so I can't say no to this. And hence I am gonna treat it like a proper submission car and get the most out of it. Also break early because again it cannot break and cannot turn. There we go, okay, and 
actually didn't get that bad of a lap time. It's still better than some car beforehand, so there is that. And we are back with this car that had one of those very memorable back designs, at least for me, uh, the Impress. And yes, it definitely is a car that is worthy of its name. It is really impressive in terms of performance as well. It corners well, it has good grip and it has decent brakes for at least in comparison to like other cars. As you can see, actually you can take this corner quite well here. Uh, even though I need to brake more here, but that's again probably still one of the best performances I've seen so far. And as long as I can take the corner... Jesus, I really can't apply my racing knowledge to this uh, beam and G testing because, you know, my racing knowledge says go on the outside and then turn on the corner so that you can get the kind of best line uh, on the inside but here even if I start turning like <laughs> a mile earlier it still wouldn't reach the inside of the corner to actually t take that best line but oh well and this car is definitely gonna be up there to be one of the best competitors if I can take this checkpoint yes I can cool um, the lap time is looking really promising so far and if I can break in time here, and there we go, maybe I can pull away, okay, let's see, this is gonna be a... Yes, this is the new best one, nice, 120, that's I think almost uh, 2 seconds better than the previous best. Nice job on this car, really nice, experience is driving, it is also good. Alrighty, so... This is one of those bad brake cars, and uh, you will see soon enough that it actually has a few of those issues, and as well as not being able to turn as well either. Um, yeah, even at this speed it kind of struggles to turn properly. And it's not even just understeer, it's sometimes a bit of a mix of both. It, it does try to spin on me at some times. Uh, I mean, it's probably not still not the worst experience, but you know. Things can definitely get better. I think it's uh, like this car has such a huge uh, wheel span um, that that might be why it's being so uh, understeery. It can still drift really well though, which is interesting. Uh, it's lower and the or its back end is kind of quite lower than the front, which might also substitute substitute to that or not substitute. Sorry, a constitute to that. I'm not good at English. Which I probably shouldn't say that because I have a high degree in English, but or high high level level well, high level exam from English. Anyway, we are still going. I'm not here to brag about my English knowledge because I cannot do that properly. <laughs> Imagine somebody bra bragging about his daring English language in a broken English. Okay, somehow got the checkpoint. We will take that. Um, it's not gonna be first, but. Happy enough that it got the time it did uh, with my driving knowledge. Yeah, alright. Uh, I mean, not too bad, I guess. Let's go on to the next one. I didn't discard the Wobbly because it has an almost off road like suspension and it actually acts a lot like a trophy car in these corners. Um, which is kind of weird. Um, as you can see, it wobbles a lot. It doesn't help its turning or braking either. Um, I mean, it's not gonna break any records, I don't think, but... It's a bit different, I guess. Still, it's... I wouldn't call it like proper sports car setup, to be fair. Um, I mean... <laughs> I would probably do better with it off-road than on-road, to be fair. And I said to be fair twice in like two sentences. Nice, Gary. Um, way to go when you just bragged about your English knowledge. I mean, I guess I didn't brag about my vocabulary at all, but... <laughs> Oh well. Yeah, it's, this car is, is weird, to say the least. Uh, it's very odd the way it handles. Sometimes under steer, sometimes over steer, sometimes it breaks, sometimes it doesn't break. Sometimes it turns, sometimes it's it's just uh, decides it has a mind on its own. And please get this checkpoint, thank you. Okay. Wobble, wobble, wobble about. There we go. Uh, let's test rate, come on. You can do this, I believe in you. Actually, the lap time isn't that bad, it's still better than the first car, so I guess that's something. Um, but yeah, it's a wobbly car.
In the previous car was the Wobbly Boy, then this car is a Speedy Boy. It goes super fast in uh, just, you know, straight lines performance wise. It cannot break though, which is uh, kind of his downfall, I guess. Um, I think I lost something there, but doesn't matter. Uh, not gonna hinder our performance. Um, yeah, it's it's super fast in terms of just straight line speed, but it cannot turn for its own good uh, or keep its grip rather, um, as you can see. Also, breaking this game while turning is not helpful either. Um, I mean, it, I guess it's in real life you won't, uh, you wouldn't break and turn either, but. Uh, you kind of have to compensate here for that very reason. It probably would be able to compete for the first place if I tried real hard with it. And you just managed to get all the lines right and all the braking zones correctly, but it's not making my job easy here, so I'm not gonna give it uh, that credit. I mean, if you are just talking, you know, straight performance, then this is definitely one of those upper cars in the list so far. You can just kind of hear it from its engine sound and whatnot. And there we go, come on, turn you bastard, there we go. And yeah, it's not gonna be the first place, but it's still a pretty strong competitor in the overall race, so yeah, there we go. Nice submission, I guess. We are here with the Happy Porsche, and this car is really in a different sense this time. You will see probably um, around the second or third corner, actually it's already doing it. Yeah, this car smokes, this is a heavy smoker car. And you will see, and it's just gonna get more and more intense. See, it's already smoking. It isn't bad to drive by any means, but I think something is off. Uh, I think the car is kind of destroying itself in a way. And I don't know what it does that. I don't know if it's just the brakes being so easy to overheat or, or what, but... Um, I, and I don't feel the brakes being weaker as we go, but it, I do see the car smoking more and more, so... You know, uh, put that to another list of weirdness that can go wrong with PNG cards, I guess. And uh, other than that, it does alright, I guess. It, it's certainly holding itself together on the tech track. I do feel that the smoking is sort of now hindering its performance a bit. Um, I think its engine is getting weaker? Is it uh, engine smoke? It probably is. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna get it around the track and then we'll see the lap time. It doesn't look too bad so far. Pretty surprised if it won though. Um, not impossible. Um, what's the time? 18, 19, actually. Uh, almost to the first place. Well, that was pretty strong for performance yet, but look at that guy. He's just smoking hot. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's smoking all over the place. <laughs> Weird. Alrighty, this car is actually a bit lacking in the uh, power department. I think that's gonna be its downfall mainly. Also, it likes to steer itself like some of the other cars do. Uh, the braking is fine, I guess, but that probably is because it doesn't go as fast uh, speeds as the uh, other cars do. Uh, otherwise, not much else to say about it. Uh, sound is alright, I guess. Uh, it's a bit muffled again. It's in a weird way that some cars are. I don't know what causes that, by the way. Is that how the uh, model is set up or something? Like, does, does BMG actually know how much the engine is muffled or, or exhaust-wise or something along those lines? I guess, I assume since it's a simulator it kind of does that, but it's still a interesting concept that it kind of can take automation cars and recognize these as sort of features. Anyway, yeah, this car is not gonna be breaking any sort of records. As you can see, it's already above a minute and we're not even close to the final few corners. The usual lap times are like 120-ish and this guy is gonna get like a 130 or 40 even, probably. If I can actually take these corners proper. And now it's starting to try and spin out on me in straight lines. Cool, gotta love it when BMG cars do that. It's gonna be closer to a 140, I think. But anyway, not all cars can be super fast, I guess. And yes, over one, 135. Actually, over 136 as well. And anyway, you know, it's a decent submission, I guess. And let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, this is a fat car, but despite its uh, fatness, it's kind of actually is kind of fast. Also cannot break or turn either, but that's something we have gotten used to at this point. Still, it is it has a very good uh, kind of higher gear acceleration. Uh, it, it kind of starts off, starts off slow, but once it gets up to like third or fourth gear, it sort of starts to pick up speed much faster than you would expect it to do. Um, which is kind of interesting, I didn't actually see that sort of handling before. I do remember that GTA used to have these um, kind of spe specific cars. I think the Tesseract was the first one that did that, and then the Morgon, so it kind of was the ener uh, electric car specific uh, handling. Um, but it's weird to see it on a car that's totally not electric. Um, it also likes drifting. Um, so yeah, this is a unique handling car for sure. Um, also, please stop in time. Thank you. So yeah, this is a chubby boy, but it's also kind of fast, so I actually can't complain about its chubbiness because it kind of uh, makes it not really a thing anymore. Actually, this is quite a nice time as well. Almost uh, the new record. Is it a new record? I can't actually tell. We have to see, but yeah, this is a really good time. Alright, let's move on to the next one. This is a small boy. Um, it actually is one of the smallest cars. Actually, probably is the smallest car from this competition. And just overall what I've seen. It can break, thankfully, probably because of its uh, kind of light size. However, it has that weird uh, handling quirk wherever it tries to switch up a gear, it actually holds itself back almost, and then it tries to, like, not shift up and uh, spin out instead, before it actually decides, okay, f well, fine, I guess I'll shift up then. Um, as you can see, it actually has this sort of, I don't know, almost struggle to shift up gears, which is really weird. It's also not fast, so um, I don't know, it's probably partly to blame because of the gear shifting. But it's not gonna break any records, so even if it um, gets its uh, shifting bug fixed, I don't think it will be able to compete with the big boys that we have seen so far. I mean, we are already about a minute in, and some of the first cars have gotten around the track in 120. This guy probably can be happy if it gets around in 130. Well, still, again, probably not a horrible experience to drive at least, so that's something to write down. Yeah, it's gonna be out uh, 1.30, I think, lap time-wise, if I can get the last corner proper. And actually, it's not that bad, it's still better than most cars. Well, not most cars, uh, it's better than a few cars, that's all I'm gonna say. Alright, let's move to the next one. Just listen. This has to be one of the highest shift or fastest shifting ups in the current testing so far. It doesn't have brakes either, but holy crap that was some intense shifting at the beginning. <sighs> oh jeez, this accelerates like nothing else. Holy moly. I think it might be able to take the new first spot if I can keep it sticking, which it actually has troubles with because for some reason it either understeers or oversteers. Um, but it's still going and it's going fast. This is a fast boy. Come on, keep it going, there we go. Drifting around the corners. Jesus Christ, this car is something else. <laughs> oh, it's actually so powerful. It probably doesn't come out that well through the video, but man, this car is... Oh. The guy who made it probably has tested it in the track because, yeah, this car pulls. It pulls like nothing else in the competition before. Wow, look at the lap time so far. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the new best that we've got so far. Actually, no. Well, almost best. Uh, kind of struggled with uh, keeping its speed in the corners, but... Overall, it was still a really fast car, and... Yeah, this is definitely... It, it probably could commit for the first place if I was a more competent driver, but I am not, so there is that. Sorry about it. Let's move on to the next one. This car is called the Mustache Boy, which is not his actual name, but this is the name I gave it, and you can't prove me wrong. Uh, this is a car with a mustache. 
Also, it's a car without any turning radius whatsoever because it literally cannot turn unless you just kind of stop with it, uh, which is also not good at doing so. Uh, it has a decent straight line speed, but other than that, it doesn't have much going for it. It's just so understeery. Like, if you saw that the previous car that you've seen was bad, then this is like two times or three times that bad. Look at that. I physically can't turn with it. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm guessing the suspension doesn't leave any roll bar or rolling uh, to do. Come on, turn, you bastard. I already crashed it at this point multiple times because it wouldn't turn tight enough to actually take the corner and just go into the railing. This is probably also it's gonna be its uh, big nemesis this turn. Uh, come on, I lost my front bumper, cool. Well, I'm still going at least. Okay, break early. Break and then go again. Alright, let's go. I mean, again, not too bad of a lap time overall, but it's definitely not the top. It's mid-pack, which is decent, I guess. Alright, we got one more car to go, let's go. And we are going out to the bang, because this car is certainly a banger. It's so goddamn speedy. I also need to brake really early, because speedy cars, as you have expected, or come to expect, are not good in terms of braking. But yeah, this car pulls, and I mean, this pulls probably even more than, more than that one car with the uh, reputable sort of shifting up and the acceleration. Can we actually get the last car to take the win from everybody else in the last one run? This might actually be possible. I mean, this car is not as bad in terms of turning and braking than the others were. And it does certainly pull in terms of straight line speed, so it has the chance to be the best. As long as I can keep it going on the road, which I usually struggle to do. And yes, I also messed up this time, but we're still going. Come on. Come on, take the checkpoint, okay? We got the checkpoint. I'm gonna take that a complete win. I don't think it's gonna be breaking the, the best lap, but it's certainly up there. Come on, take the last corner, you bastard. Well, actually, it's... yeah, it's top pack, but couldn't take the win in the end. Still, pretty strong car, not gonna lie. Alright, so I'm gonna put out now, as you will see, the uh, lap times for each car. Um, congratulations to the winner. And I guess this concludes the sort of full round of the best sports car. I'm gonna contact the winner of the uh, cosmetic competition and the um, performance competition. And you guys will get a pet on the back or something more special, who knows. Depen depends on how good of a mood I am right now, how much time I got <laughs> on my hands. Anyway, thanks for participating for everybody and thanks for everybody who watched and hope you enjoyed. I see you again in a month's time with another competition similar to this or maybe something totally different, who knows. Uh, goodbye guys.